Hey, I'm Devin Rifkin. I'm a front-end engineer here at uh, Rockmelt. Great. Well, thanks for joining us for a day on the job. Uh, I wanted to ask you five questions. Um, right. First one, why would someone want to use Rockmelt rather than a more traditional browser like uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox or Chrome? All right, so the, the difference with Rockmelt is Rockmelt's all about uh, uh, integrating the sites and the, the places you go to uh, and the things you do on the web uh, with your browser, which is how you access the web. So. Uh, we, we take your, your favorite sites, your feeds, your Facebook feeds, your Twitter feeds, put that on the edge. So now instead of checking all these sites, you're, you now get push notifications when stuff comes in. Uh, you want to share to Facebook, you want to share to Twitter, you want to do it quickly, we let you do that very quickly. You want to chat using Facebook chat, we have that on the other edge. So it's all about taking the things that would normally you'd have to use all these different things to use them and putting them into the one thing that you probably use the most, which is the browser. Got it, great. Let's talk a little bit about uh, you know being professional in Silicon Valley. Um, maybe you could say what the two or three best things that somebody could do to get a, a, an engineering or a programming job in the Valley would be. I, I think the first thing is is you you should probably be really excited about what you're doing. Um, so so find something that you you really enjoy doing, and uh, that kind of brings me to like the second most important part, which is like go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter if you have the job right now or or whatever. Just make stuff, and people will see that. And uh, it makes it really easy to show somebody what you're capable of instead of uh, just coming into an interview uh, with just a resume. Like make some stuff. Okay. How important is it to actually get a degree in either you know, CS or engineering uh, for getting a job like that? Well, it, it kind of ties into the last point, which is uh, you, you pretty much just need to know how to make stuff and then actually make stuff. Um, a degree would help you where maybe you otherwise wouldn't be making things to uh, kind of get you started. But uh, I, I don't think it's it's definitely necessary if, if you have enough drive on your own. If you have enough? A drive. Uh, okay. So, so companies aren't requiring degrees to, to, for for getting hired for those type of jobs. Um, it, it's it probably uh, helps like maybe getting to an interview, but I I think that degrees don't come up too much in in actual interviews. I don't think. Okay, you told me earlier today that you like working with with cutting edge web technologies. Maybe you could say what your favorite part about that is. Sure. Um, so what it lets me do is it lets me build stuff really fast. Um, so I don't have to spend a lot of time tweaking stuff. Like we were we were playing with animations earlier. And I was just uh, doing it on the fly without even uh, reloading the page. And, and so the ability to try stuff out and figure out what works uh, is really exciting. Okay. And you work at a, at a startup. You guys have, I think, I heard 40 people. Um, yeah, somewhere around there. Right. So what do you like about working for a startup versus, say, you know, a much larger company like Facebook, Google, or Apple? Uh, it, so it, it kind of ties into the last point again, which is like, yeah, it, it's moving really quickly. So I get to work on stuff. We might come up with a feature and then... Uh, you know, uh, spec it out in a day or whatever, um, design it, build it, and ship it in a week or two. And uh, you get the opportunity to have your hand in more things and, and just be uh, shipping code really fast. Great. Well, Devin, thanks very much for uh, taking part in Day on the Job. Really appreciate it. Cool. Thanks.